Hello Lab Rats, welcome to Lab Rat Academy. This is the third week of our basic anatomy lab where we will be dissecting a grasshopper. Now this grasshopper is probably something you've never seen before up close and personal like we are doing today. So we're gonna learn some really fun stuff. So let's take a look at the background about the grasshopper so we can uh, know what we're looking at when we start dissecting it. So these grasshoppers are in a particular kingdom, which means that they have a, a special classification about uh, what type of living organism they are. There are six different kingdoms. We are an animal and there's other kingdoms like plants and fungus and proteists and bacteria. There's six different kingdoms, but these grasshoppers are in the animalia kingdom, just like us. But when it comes to separation from the humans, we are going to be in a different phylum than these grasshoppers. They are in the phylum Arthropoda, which means they have segmented bodies. And they're also insects. They are in the class insects, which means they have... Do anybody know any characteristics of an insect? They actually have six legs. So when we look at them, hopefully your grasshopper has six legs unless it was lost in the preservation process but normally they have six legs. So if you look up at the screen, you'll see that this grasshopper is really colorful and it might look a little different than the grasshopper you have in your dissection kit because when uh, these grasshoppers are sent to me in the mail, they are preserved in a chemical to keep them from smelling bad and decaying in the packaging they're in um, before we get a chance to dissect them. So these chemicals, we want to make sure they stay off of our bodies, which, which is why we wear gloves and glasses and lab aprons, but it also affects the coloring of the specimen. Also, just the process of dying, not having oxygen make it to your cells, causes the colors of a, a living organism to change color. So those are some of the things that affect the colors. So something also interesting about these grasshoppers is they go through something called metamorphosis. And you've probably heard the word metamorphosis before. Meta means change, morph means form. So changing its form from when it was first born to its adult, adult form would be metamorphosis. And if you look up on the screen, you'll see that when a grasshopper comes out of its egg, it's called a nymph and it doesn't have any wings on it. So these creatures have an exoskeleton just like the crayfish did. So the exoskeleton doesn't grow. So it has to shed or molt its exoskeleton and grow again, molt that, grow again, molt that, grow again. And they might do that six, seven times before they're old enough to be able to grow wings.